Thanks, Tony. Tonight we're working new details on an Eyewitness News exclusive. A suspect faces a judge on charges that he tried to break into two homes over the weekend in Seekonk. And now investigators are trying to figure out if the suspect is linked to a crime spree here in the Ocean State. Eyewitness News reporter Alex Soprano joins us now with the new details on the investigation. Police in Seacock have charged James Dorsey with two incidents in that area, but here in Rhode Island, he's being looked at by police in Barrington, Situate, and Johnston as a suspect in several other break-ins. James Dorsey did his best to hide from our camera in Taunton Court, but for the 43-year-old, there is no hiding against attempted breaking and entering charges after a weekend crime spree was foiled by some alert homeowners in Seacock. Very, very frightening. This woman says she spotted Dorsey at 2.30 Saturday morning, shining a flashlight into her Briarwood Drive home. He was dressed like a ninja. All black? All black. At just after 4 a.m., police received another call from nearby Jean Drive after a resident heard a man breathing through an open window. When police swarmed the area, they say Dorsey took off in a car stolen from Barrington. He was arrested after crashing into this nearby home. There were several items inside the vehicle, including a GPS, a tool, a Leatherman tools, a black knit hat, gloves. Cops also found a wallet belonging to a woman who lives in Barrington inside the car. And because of that, authorities are now looking at him as a suspect in several break-ins across Rhode Island. What do you think now they got him? I'm glad. I'm glad. I feel bad for him. Dorsey has served time for break-ins in the past, and that's one reason the judge set his bail at $100,000. I'm Alex DePrato, Eyewitness News.